It's a sort of virtual autopsy. We can do a sort of fly-through inside the mummy. So we can study the mummy, we can reconstruct the life and the death of this person. We can also be sure about the sex because we can study the pelvis. We can measure him so we can understand how high it was. And then we will do also some chemical and physical analysis to understand which kind of product were used to mummify the body. And uh, also we can do the radiocarbon dating so we can be sure at that time that he is what he is saying to be. <laughs> the mummies are practically a biological museum. They are like a capsule of time. And this is something that we understood, uh, Egyptologists and researchers, we understood in the last 10 years. Before, the Egyptologists, Egyptologists were more interested to archaeological items, shaptis, jewelry, papyrus, uh, inscription, and everything like that. The mummy we have here is a mummy of a priest. His name is Aket Konsu. The name meaning is the God Konsu is alive. All the information we have about the mummies come from the coffin. So on the coffin is written the name five times. We are not sure exactly if this mummy is really the priest, because uh, in the past, with the antiquity market, was quite frequent to associate a mummy to another coffin. Now we understood that the mummy can tell us the real life of the population of ancient Egypt. So in a in a sort of way, we will be more near to them studying mummies than studying a statuette.